today I'd like to share with you how to make a three inch venturi for aeration of a lake. I'm basing this off a petrol uh, pump uh, because over at the trout lake that I run we have no electricity so we can't use the electric uh, aerators and the wind ones are too expensive. The venturi is basically putting air into a flow of water that goes under the surface of the lake. The key element here is this T-junction that I bought off eBay for about 11 quid. It comes from Performance Car. It's 76 mil 3 inch. It's got a 26 mil junction. And what I've done is I've got a bit of 22 mil tubing from Wix. I've cut an angled end to it and this is the secret to it so I push the tube into the T-junction with an angled cut so what happens is the water flows this way hits the tube and sucks the air down the pipe and into the stream of water going out these pumps turn a huge amount of water it's very important for the intake to have this on it the easy connector allows for quick and easy connection with the pump which could be taken away. The other key element is to mount it on something very heavy. Here I have a bit of 6 inch RSJ, it's been welded onto an old uh, trestle frame. It's important to have it mounted on something very heavy and stable. And to do that, I've got some three inch exhaust pipe U-bolts. I've fitted my three inch pipe onto my T-junction and used a stainless steel Jubilee clip. I'll now bolt this firmly onto my piece of RSJ where I've pre-drilled the holes. This will sit tight on here. I'll push this into the bottom of the lake and the final bit is to put the out bow nozzle, use ferry liquid just to grease the end there which helps on. So here's the fully constructed Venturi. The key elements are coming off the pump with a stiff three inch hose, having a quick fit adapter so the pump can be taken away. This left in situ is having weight and stability here because there's a lot of pressure that comes through here. The other important thing is, is to make sure that the cut is facing in the direction of the flow so that the air is sucked down the airflow pipe. And I'll now show you how it works actually in the lake. 